you for calling AT&T. iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S are now available. Please visit one of our stores for the latest information. AT&T, the nation's fastest and now most reliable 4G LTE network. If you'd like to know the hours and directions to our store, press 1. Thanks, I'm connecting you now. We know your time is important, so we offer priority service appointments. You can schedule your next store visit at att.com slash store appointment. Yes, is Eric there? I'm sorry? Is Eric in? Uh, yes, hold on just a second. Hello? Eric? Yeah. Yes. It's Billy Tatum Hello. again. I'm not going to be able to make it by there today because I missed my turn and I don't feel like turning around. It's not fucking worth it. But, uh, I mean, I don't know what your problem is, dude. It's not cool. I mean, you're lucky that I don't really feel like being this agitated about it anymore. And, you know, you look like a little dwarf and you sound pretty timid by the way you respond to people. So, I'm not going to come mess with you. Okay. 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 And you should probably you should shave your face. You look like a little Arab. Okay. Especially the way okay. you hold your phone to your head. What's your name again? Billy. Bill. You should know you should this. Know this. Okay. And why do you want my name again? You gonna do it again? Billy, what's your last name? Why? You don't know? I've said it four times since we started talking. Okay. Uh huh. Tatum. Like Channing Tatum. What's your cell phone number, Billy? Why are you so interested all of a sudden? I think you misunderstood um, my job title, so I'm the greeter at the store. The I don't touch your account. I don't do anything for I'm you. I'm not worried about that. I gave you my phone number, and you gave it to a you called a crack I dealer with it. I did. I and did now they, it. they now they and you said, "Hey, it's Billy Tatum there." And I mean, and we got to go through this again. You don't understand the story. That's why I ask you if you understand the story. I just want you to see where I'm coming from. You know, why don't you repeat the story to me right quick, so I, I so you know. How I feel. Just repeat the story and I'll feel better about it. What, what is your cell phone number, sir? I mean, I don't think you get this. Why do you think you get to run this show? I mean, you know I'm upset. You know you should just let a customer vent and kind of appease them a little and, and everything goes away. I mean, don't you know that? You don't? That's why I'm glad I have Verizon now. I mean, you have caller ID. You, you don't know what my fucking phone number is? You don't? No. What is your cell phone number, sir? Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. It's redundant. No. Just redundant shit all the time. No. You're a sales guy, no. man. Oh, you're not a sales guy. You got hired on as a greeter. How long are you going to work there, buddy? How much longer are you going to work there? You plan on moving yeah. up? No? No. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Are you going to stay a greeter with the company? What is your stuff on it? And then what happens after I answer that? I'll get my manager to call you. To call me back. Yeah. You, just, you can't even answer a few questions. 
You want me to answer? You want me to answer questions, but you can't answer questions. And they're not even that serious. You would answer that question for any other customer. I'm not asking where you live. I don't ask you for your phone number. I'm asking you, how much longer do you plan on staying with the company if you're going to act like this? Billy, I'm going to go off for words here. Is there something I can help you with? Okay. All right. I understand that you believe you don't act a certain way. I'm just planning. I just want to know, do you plan on moving up in the company? I appreciate you using my name. Thank you. That's respectful, Eric. Are you still there? I am still here, sir. All right, I appreciate that. I'm just curious, how long do you plan on staying with AT&T as a greeter? Sir, if there's something relevant that we can talk about, I would love to help you, but this is not relevant to our conversation. Okay, you know, relevant is not getting my number handed out by AT&T to a crack dealer and me getting asked questions by the police. That's not relevant. And I know for sure that every time I go in a store, people ask me, well, where do you work? Blah, blah, blah. Jibber, jabber, jibber, jabber. Sold. So, I mean, I'm asking you how long you plan on staying at AT&T. I'm curious. And then I'll give you my phone number. That's a pretty sweet deal. You want my phone number to call me back, right? It's not to benefit me, sir. It's to benefit you. I understand that. But make me, make me feel a little better. Make me feel a little bit better. Tell me how much longer you plan on being a greeter at AT&T, and I will give you my phone number so your manager can call me back. And then I'll be just as ridiculous with them as you think I am. You can make something up, buddy. Just make it up. No? No. I mean, you could have greeted like five or six people by now. All you had to do was give me a time frame. Eric? Eric? Hello, Eric. Hello, Hello Billy. Okay. I'm glad you can hear me. Are you not going to tell me how much longer you plan on being a greeter with AT&T? That's right, no. And why do you feel like you shouldn't? Have you ever had to deal with a customer like this? Yes, sir, I have. I understand that. I work with customers, too. They make shit up all the time. You know that? I mean, customers will just say anything, man. It's ridiculous. You believe that? Well, you're a real guarded fella. All right, well, I'll tell you what. You have Shane call me back. I don't have your number, Shane. That's right. Hold on one second. I think I'll give you my Google Voice number at this point. Let's see. That's a nice blue tie you're wearing, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. What kind of watch is that? Sir? What kind of watch are you wearing? Sir? I mean, what brand? I'm just curious while I was looking for this other phone number, man. Jeez. You're just curious what? I was curious while I was looking for this other phone number. You're not going to tell me what kind of watch you're wearing? Okay. Sir? Sir? I'm sorry? You're not going to tell me what kind of watch you're wearing? Sir, do you want to come to the 
tour and do the gear detectors. I'm about to show you my watch. Oh my oh. god. Eric, let me tell you something else. Okay, really listen to me for a second. Do not have any... Is anybody else listening to this? I'm sorry? Is anybody else listening to us right now? You're not speaking right now, sir. No. No. I said, is anybody else listening to us right now? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I know that you're not planning on working at AT AT&T much longer, right? Right. Okay. Okay, good. We're getting somewhere. Getting. All right. All right. Um, uh, Shane is actually Shane. a very good friend of mine, and he called. He called me and asked me to bust your chops. Yeah. I didn't know what to say to you. He just gave me your name and the store phone number, and I took it from there. Okay. And I'm sorry, but it was kind of fun. But now I'm pulling into my driveway at home, so I thought I'd let you know. Don't have a reaction right now. Think about what you might want to use it, how you want to use that information, and then you can respond accordingly. You understand? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I really am his friend. He sent me a picture of you on the phone with me. That's why I know you have a blue tie and a watch, okay? I was just jacking with you. All right? All right. All right. You feel a little better? You there? Hello? Oh, he's good. Eric, I know you're not going to be...